Hey guys, Kimberly here, and I have been testing something for the last two weeks. You're probably going to say, Kimberly, not again, but yes, I have been testing a different type of follow-up system. This is more of a benefit for you guys, right? Because you get to see all the pros and cons of all of these different systems, and you can find what works the best for you. But this bad boy, it sends notifications to my email, which is a game changer. Streak is kind of a Chrome extension and add-on to your Gmail. And what makes it even better is that you don't have to download it and unpack it and then move it to the right folder and then install it. It does everything for you. If you are an Apple user, you can download the Streak app from the Apple Store. But Streak is used by some pretty big names like Yelp and Uber. So let me minimize myself and I'll show you how to actually install Streak onto your email and then I'll show you how I use it on my personal email. All right, I'm on the main landing page of streak.com, S-T-R-E-A-K.com, right up here in my browser window. You're gonna wanna click this button right here. So it is going to say install streak. And it's automatically going to install it for you. And so this is what I come to whenever I come to this email account. It says get started with streak. So I'm gonna hit continue with streak. And it's gonna want me to verify that this is the email account that I want it to use. I'm going to allow. And I'm getting all these notifications on my phone that streak is wanting to connect. But this is the first thing that you're gonna to come to. But there are tons of different options. You can even go down to a blank one. And blank is probably best, but I'm gonna show you starting from the sales one so you can see what it looks like. And I only want me to be the owner of this pipeline. So you'll click just me for now. And then of course I want it to be private. So I wanna create a private pipeline. And if you want, you can take this really nice tour. I'm gonna skip that. And once everything is ready to go, you're gonna see over on the left-hand side of your screen, you have your pipelines. And right now we only have one pipeline, it's called sales slash CRM, which we can rename at any time. But if you click on that, it's going to take you to this beautiful screen. This can look extremely overwhelming, but just sit tight because once you see mine, it'll make a ton more sense. All of the different colors at the top, those are all stages of which you want to move people through. So. In order for this to make a little bit more sense, let's jump over to my main Gmail account so that way you can see exactly how I use this. What you're looking at now is my, my CRM, my follow-up pipeline. As I mentioned before, the different colors are for different stages. So hopefully you can kind of see what that means now. I have one stage for the day after delivery. That's the first time that I follow up. The first follow-up could be a week later, could be a month later. Then I have a second follow-up, and that's what FU stands for if you didn't know. And then I have a stage for no response. So if someone doesn't respond to anything that I send, send them, they go into my no response category, and at the end of three months or six months, I send them another email. That way, I'm still trying to keep them warm. And then I have one for my subscription box that I do, one for sample requests, catalog requests, those who are actively hosting with me, and those that I'm keeping warm for potential sponsoring. Right now, all of my stages are collapsed. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up the day after delivery one so you get a little bit more information about what the columns are. Okay, so the beauty with this is that you can make this as simple or as complex as you want it to be. For me, I want this to track everything. So you can see that I have their name, the stage they're in, their order date, if I've sent them a thank you card yet, and then once I get an email that their order has shipped, I put the date after delivery date here. I know it's blacked out right now, but I am going to be keeping track of sales, so that way at the end of the season I can see who my top sellers are. And then once they move down to the first follow-up and the second follow-up, these two columns would be entered. I'm tracking whether or not they're in my VIP group, and then these columns kind of go in line with the ones that are down here. But what I really wanna show you is how it integrates into your Gmail. Now, you don't necessarily have to use the email portion of it. You could just come here to your streak and enter in everything. But once you do get everything entered in, let's say someone places an order online. Well, now we wanna put them in our streak system. So let me show you how to do that. All right, let's say this person Google here just ordered from our website. Whenever I come into this email, it's gonna give me their name, how much they purchased their email. If you click on this box, Let's say the person that placed this amazing order, her name was Heather K. Her name is gonna pop up down here. Now, if you have only one pipeline, it's gonna automatically send them to that pipeline. But since I have two, it asks me which one I wanna send her to. So I want her to go to follow up. 
And as soon as I say I want her to go to follow-up, it's going to put her in the very first stage of follow-up, which is day after delivery. Now, you can see over on the right-hand side of the screen that it automatically gives me some places to enter information for Heather. From here, I can enter in that she placed her order on 9-7. And if I wanted to enter in her email address, I could. If I want to do some more things up here, I could. But I want to show you over in her actual box. Okay, so you can see Heather showed up right up here at the top. So if you click on her streak box right over here, it's going to bring you to pretty much her hub. This is where everything that goes with Heather is going to be stored. I can add notes in here. I can add um, images, files, whatever I want in here. Now, I always want to have their email because streak is going to keep track of the emails that I'm sending back and forth. I want to add an email. Okay, and so that is gonna be her email. But I really think the selling feature of Streak is its opportunity to enter in tasks and reminders. So if you wanna do that up here at the top, I personally like to keep it small and it's gonna put it down in the corner. So I wanna add a task. And let's say I want to have this particular task slash reminder be about her delivery day. Let's say it is going to be 9-12. I want to follow up with her the day after, so 9-13 at 9 a.m. It's going to automatically set the due date, okay? And it comes over here due in six days. I hit the check mark, and then it's good to go. Now I want to show you how to move multiple people at the same time because you can do that as well, which is very, very nice. Let's say they all got delivered at the same day, or maybe I'm late on my follow-up and all these people should be moved to first follow-up. You just check all the people that you want to move and within one of them, double click on the stage, click the stage you want them to go in and they'll all move. Okay, the last thing that I wanna show you has to do with how to keep track of it in your email. If I come up here to filter and sort group, in this first space, I can do choose column, overdue task count, greater than zero. Now let me show you what that does once we hit apply. So the first thing it does is it automatically pulls all of your overdue tasks into one place. You can see I have two in day after delivery, six in first fall, and nine in the second. But it gets even better. Over here on the left hand side, you can click on this filter and you can choose to show in your inbox. Now let me show you what that does. Right up here, overdue tasks. This tells me everyone that I need to follow up with. That is pretty phenomenal. There is a free version. There is a trial version for two weeks and then they have paid versions as well. So I will tell you that in order to get this in your email, the tasks or reminders, you do have to go with the paid version. Uh, but I personally feel that this is worth it. If you guys have any questions, make sure you put it down below. Give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you share and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.